Hello everyone, I'm Shaman Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights. I welcome you to the CSAT series, question of the day 12. And this question is, in an exam, 34% of students failed in maths, 42% failed in English and 20% failed in both. Then find the percentage of students passed in both the subjects. See, see whenever you have two datas like this, see 34% failed in maths, 42% failed in English and a common of these two data, 20% failed in both the subjects. Then we can solve this question using a diagram called Venn diagram. Okay, Venn diagram. In this Venn diagram, this whole circle represents maths and this whole circle represents English. Okay, in this maths, what is the percentage of students failed? 34%. So whatever the data which comes under this circle should be equal to 34%. Okay, and whatever the data which comes inside this circle, that is English, should be equal to 42%. And where to fill this 20%? You know what is 20% here? This intersection point, okay, this is a common for both A and B, right? Okay, then first fill this one. Start always from the maximum intersection point. In this case, this is the only intersection point. This is 20%, hence I have filled 20%. Once you fill data like this 20%, which is failed data, okay? So all the datas, whatever you fill has to be of failed data. So whatever you are filling inside here, everything should be of failed data only, okay? Failed candidates of maths, failed candidates of English, failed of both, okay? You cannot add failed with the past. The units are different there, okay? Now, failed candidates, 20% failed in both. Maths, 34%, total maths, Past, sorry, failed is 34% in which 20% is already filled. This whole circle should represent 34. Already we have 20% means here it should be 14%. This 14% represents what? Only failed in M for maths. Okay, this 14% is failed only in maths and this 20% is failed in both maths as well as English. Similarly now, this whole circle should represent 42% which is failed in English in which already 20% is there. So what to put here? 22%. 22% is failed only in English. Only in English. Okay. This is the data of all the failed candidates. Only failed candidates. Look here now. If I add 14%, 20% and 22%, this is nothing but 56%. 56% are failed, isn't it? If 56% are failed in a class, what is the percentage of past? 44% past. Okay, the answer is 44%. And this is the bouncer of last class and I want to pardon you guys. See, make a note in the previous slide, the options were not correct. Okay, we have rectified this mistake now. Now, we will go to this question. Ratio of percentage of P and Q is 4 is to 5. P and Q, two people are there. The ratio of their ages, okay, ratio of their ages is 4 is to 5. After 4 years, Q will be 8 years older than P. See, after 8 years, Q will be, sorry, after 4 years, Q will be 8 years older than P. Means, the difference between P's and Q's age always should be 8 years, right? Once they are born with, 8 years of age gap after 4 years, before 4 years, after 10 years, 20 years, whatever the years, the age gap between these two will be 8 years, isn't it? So, whatever you are seeing here, P and Q, whatever the ratio you are seeing here, you are seeing a difference of 1 unit, right? Or else you can take this as 4x, 5x. Difference between these two is 1x. And the difference between those two age is nothing but what? 8 years. Okay, that's what given in the question. Okay, simple one directly, orally also you can solve this one. If one part is equal to 8 years, P is 4 parts, that is equal to 32 years and Q is 5 parts, his age is 5 parts or else 8 years older, so has to be 40 years. Okay, and P is age he is asking, hence 32 years. Okay, 32 years. And guys, this is the bouncer of today's question. I haven't given the options today. So try to solve this question and put the answers in the comment sections. Thank you. See you in the next video.